Uh, this is part of my countdown to my birthday video series, and I'm doing three different videos, so it's going to be a three-day countdown, starting on Sunday and ending on Tuesday, so... Without the little beads. <coughs> you couldn't tell I'm really, really, really sick. Um, but I'm so sorry if you don't like hearing sick people. And I don't know if it's a phobia, but if phobia is even a word, I, I don't know. I'm just kind of annoyed. I'm really out of it right now. I haven't plugged in my mic because I'm really, really busy. And I think it's really hot. But I think it's really hot. You will need a container, some glue, some slime activator, and then to make it foam, you're going to need this, like, I don't know what this is called, but you get it in, like, packaging, um, stuff, I don't, I don't know what it's called, you're going to need some of that, and then optional is some lotion and some baby powder. I forgot to mention that you will also need a stirring utensil. Okay, so in your container, apparently your three bean salad um, container, you're going to want to add your glue. Then you can add some lotion and baby powder, but these are completely optional. It just makes your slime smoother. And then just thoroughly mix this. So the most important thing in foam are these little like foam beads. I do have some, but I really don't know where they went right now. And plus, this is a video with none of them. So you're gonna take one of these and just start like rubbing your fingers up and down like this. And these little bits will come off, and this is what you want. Now this does take a while. I would just say put on some YouTube and just chill. <laughs> I've already made this entire dish of these little foam things. You're just going to add these to your mixture. Some people activate the slime and then add these. But if you're like me, I'm going to add them before because I find that they stick better, like, incorporated in the slime. Um, but it is quite messy to do it this way. But I don't know. What slime without making a mess? Okay, I am not kidding. This is rice pudding. Like, if you guys have ever had rice pudding, like, you know. This this looks like rice pudding. There we go. It seriously looks like rice pudding. Like, straight up rice pudding here. I added about a cup of foam beads for about a half a cup of glue. Um, but... It depends on how flowy you want your flow to be. So once you've done all those steps, um, you can just add your activator. There are tons of activators out there. I would personally not suggest you use borax as a lot of slime makers do. It'll cause like burns. It is the next day. I do not know where I ended off. Um, <laughs> So this is what it looks like. Really, really interesting. It is blue because I used 
tied as the detergent um, because I don't know. I use this. I use that. I want to test out contact lens solution. So give this video a thumbs up if you want to see that. Today I wanted to set up my tripod, but I lost it or something because I cannot find it. And so I'm going to have to hold this. And if you're wondering what microphone I'm using, I'm using the, um, Escape, um, dynamic microphone. So, this is what it looks like. But yeah, that was this slime video. Again, this is part of my series. I'm going to have three videos posted all in a row. It's called the countdown to my birthday. I don't know what I'm going to call it. <laughs> I really don't know. But um, yeah, this has been the craft part of Crafty Cat. And so stay tuned tomorrow to see the tea or Tegan part of the series. So that's it for this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. I'm trying to hit 50 subscribers by the end of May. So if you can make that happen, I would really appreciate it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!